Good day. Welcome to Studio Church. My name is Brian Sanders, and this is Word of the Day. You know, I had to laugh the other day uh, while I was listening to some kids and their parents. Uh, they were swearing really nicely, let's say. You know, they weren't using any crass swear words, but they were using the Lord's name in vain. Now, name in vain, like, what does that even mean? I mean, I, I've heard it so much that I, I had to look it up for myself so I can understand what, what this actually means. So the dictionary actually defines it as someone using someone's name in a derogatory sense, uh, belittling them or showing no respect, talking behind their back and and that sort of thing. So, you know, if we look in the in the Message Bible in Exodus 2017, it says no using the Lord's name in vain, your God, in curses or silly banter. God won't put up with it. Using his name as, as in reverent use, in irreverent use. So, using the Lord's name in vain is apparently very disrespectful. Could you imagine using other people's names in vain like that? You know, oh, for Thomas' sakes. Oh, for Kristen's sakes. Wow, did you see that? Barry Carter. Sorry, if your name's Barry Carter, I apologize. I'm just trying to make a point. But do you see what I'm getting at? So, if... if it says in the Bible to not use the Lord's name in vain, and he's not going to put up with it, then why would we do that? Because it's a crutch. We don't know what to say. We can't express ourselves in, in a pure, um, authoritative way without using some sort of explicitive. And that explicitive is not a swear word. It's just on the cuff of. So uh, think about that next time you, you, you try to express something without just using words and not using somebody's name in vain. And if you have to, use your own name in vain. Let's try it. Oh, for Brian's sakes. Doesn't sound that good either, does it? Anyway, have yourself a good day. We'll talk to you again.